The first thing prayer does is that he opens you to the voice of God. The second thing is that he brings the presence over you. If you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom, please understand divine presence. Otherwise, That's where some of these men have gone to. And when they speak, their words never fall to the ground. But in the name of Jesus, that presence will rest upon you. You don't live through this life hoping on luck and chance. There are 7.73 .7 billion people in the world. Even if there was luck, when will your turn come? When will your nation be in the line for luck? When will your tribe be a portion for luck? There are over 7,000 languages in the world. Even if they were given according to, to tribe, it will take more than 200 years before certain tribes are called. Then if they come to your tribe, how many are you? <laughs> luck nothing like luck here we live through this life with power that's why I said the gospel is the power of God unto salvation if there's no power there can be no salvation see the things of your destiny are not a gift they are taken the word is catalambano you take it by power that's why I said the kingdom of God suffered violence the devil will insist that what is yours shouldn't come to you and so you need to know how to square up shoulder to shoulder and the way to get it is by power even god can't help you if there's no power in your life in ephesians 3 20 he said god is only able to do exceeding abundantly according to the power at work on your inside so if there's no power at work in your inside then god will not be able to do but what is the key to power in acts chapter 1 verse 8 he said not many days from now you shall receive the holy ghost and power and when the holy ghost came acts chapter 2 verse 1 he gave them the key to power he said they began to speak in tongues as the holy ghost granted them utter and so when a man begins to pray in power pray in tongues he begins to generate power the power is in you as a potential but it will take prayer to stay it because what you use is actually not dynamis dynamis is the potential what you use is called kratos what turns dynamis to kratos is tongues this light you are seeing does not exist what exists is the potential in the generator and so if the generator starts working this light appears if the generator stops working the potential is still there but the light will not be here and so the sound the light everything here even the ac that is creating this shooting ambience is a product of the work in the generator the potential is there but it is the work that converts the potential to the light this is what happens to every believer all of us here with the holy ghost have more than enough power for this world the power in you now is the same power that rose jesus from the dead but how much of it is working if you want that power to work then you must go back to the labor room of prayer and there is something you do that provokes that power either you are meditating and light comes to your spirit or you begin to kabash in the spirit in the eyes of men it sounds foolish the bible said how be it in the spirit we utter a mystery that's why we cannot be defeated because we are a warehouse of power and through prayer we draw it out we draw it out we draw it out a man who doesn't pray is helpless you are helpless until prayer is added to your daily menu even jesus prayed he prayed and prayed earnestly because he knew the secret of power did you not know that for 30 years jesus did nothing for 30 years 30 years the word of god did nothing 30 years until matthew 4 verse 1 he said and the spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil but the man knew power before the devil showed up he went on 40 days and advised himself and began to fast and pray he began to fast and pray when he returned in verse 14 he said he returned in the power of the spirit how did that power suddenly appear the power was always, always there but it took prayer for him to return in that power and he said the land of Zabulon the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentile, the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light. The question is, what was he before prayer? 
I thought he was called the son of God. I thought he was called the creator of the world. I thought he was called the life of the world. How come that life never shined? Because it will take prayer. It's prayer that converts your potential power to your dynamic power. Else you will have a lot of potentials. Prophets will come and tell you how that they are seeing you wearing a gold crown. How that your hands are shining. How that you have a glorious future. If you don't take it to the labor room of prayer, you will never become. Because the power for destiny, it comes by prayer. Do you think Pharaoh is polite? You think Pharaoh is diplomatic? When you show up, and you say you want to fulfill your destiny he will tell you i have a need of slaves you can't fulfill your destiny because if you fulfill your destiny i will not have slaves egypt will suffer and so the way you come out of egypt is by power let my people go that they may serve me who is your god he's not looking for definitions moses threw his rod down the rod became a snake my god is the god of power and when God was speaking in Exodus chapter 3 verse 20 he said I will stretch forth my hand and I will strike Egypt with all my signs and my wonders and then they will let Israel go power is the key to fulfilling your destiny your destiny is not gifted you your destiny is taken by power you see I've seen an abomination on the face of the earth that princes are trekking while beggars are riding on horses the status of a prince yet the experience of a beggar that's the that's that's the tale the unfortunate tale of many destinies as you come into this prayer conference and as you engage the altar of prayer everything about your destiny will be delivered to you in the name of jesus Amen.